a step in the right direction with tackling school safety. Kaplan Samuel Larial reports on new common sense safety bills released with the help of parents of Parkland victims. Samuel is live in D.C. this morning. Thank you. Gun violence is the leading cause of death for young people here in the United States. This year so far, we have seen more than 400 mass shootings across the nation. And as the situation gets more critical, lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are moving towards meeting the desperate call for action from the American people. To honor Alyssa, Alex, and Gina and turn their memory and the pain their families and friends carry every day into action, announcing two bipartisan common sense pieces of legislation. The Alisa, the Alisa Act, named after Alisa Aladev, a victim of the 2018 massacre at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School in Parkland, Florida, will require schools nationwide to install silent panic alarms to notify authorities of possible disturbances within school grounds. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to end gun violence and ensure that our schools are safe. We all have Republican and Democratic legislators met with the parents of two Parkland victims, Lori Aladev and Max Schachter, who spoke in favor of investing in the security of schools in North America. On February 14th, I texted my daughter Alyssa. I told her to run and hide that help was on the way. And unfortunately, that help didn't get to Alyssa fast enough. This is why so vitally important to get law enforcement on the scene as quickly as possible. Time equals life. Critics of the bill argue that while improving security measures in schools might help mitigate some incidents, still the most effective option to reduce gun violence in the country is to enforce stricter gun regulations. And now the question in everyone's minds is, is this legislation actually going to make it through Congress and to the president's desk? And most importantly, is this legislation actually going to have any effect in reducing the amount of people who are dying in this country because of gun violence? Live for Coupling News, Samuel Arreal.